Shalom family, shalom friends, Martin Bapawa here. It's thankful to you, Deva Ave God, for this incredible moment bestowed to be with you. If a path are crossing for the first time, by Jesus' grace, I'm a Bible teacher and author, South African recording gospel artist for the past two decades, to the glory of God, and also your worship coach. Uh, welcome to Midnight Worship. This is a time where we take to express gratitude to God for His goodness, to express praise unto Him because of His wonderful works, His mighty works to us, and also to express our love, man, for His holiness. I want to thank God for your presence today, friends and family joining us from wherever you may be. If you don't mind, kindly drop your comment. Let me know where you're watching from. And uh, let's bless the name of the Lord. Also, if you can, kindly share this broadcast on your space. Somebody may be awake, wondering, not know what to do. And it may be just the right moment. Wangan Christopher Nyari, thank you so very much for your support. Say, are you the gentleman in Ethiopia? If you are, kindly let me know by saying yes right there. We just want to lift up the name of the Lord. I would love so much to share with you a word briefly. Um, as we look at um, the a very interesting subject that I've been dealing with from my book, The Benefits of Thanksgiving. We're calling it the Perspectives of Thanksgiving because it's important to have an understanding why you do what you do. I believe that understanding brings inspiration. Understanding, therefore, brings expectation. Understanding can make one outstanding that third quote that is, is said by Bishop David Oyedepo, he said, understanding will make you outstanding. When we understand why we do what we do, it's a privilege. Let's pray. Dad, we thank you for this moment. Would you honor it and receive our thanks and our praises and our worship to you? Would you receive our love for you? And would you just honor us with your warmth, embrace, which is sweeter than honey, so precious, so glorious, so indescribable, that pleasure beyond measure. Just shower us with your glory. Let it be a turnaround for somebody who is joining me, wherever they may be. We lift up your name. We vow to give you the glory. Jehovah, our salvation is your name. Yeshua, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Amen and amen. Oh, yes. Mungan Christopher Nyari says, watching from Ethiopia, Addis Ababa, men of God. Thank you so very much, sir. Mm -hmm. I just want to talk for about three to four minutes. Then we're going to love the Lord the rest of the time. When we deal with the subject of Thanksgiving, there are different perspectives. The first one, it's looking at it as a kingdom protocol. Jesus is a king. In Matthew chapter 5, verse 35, he says to his disciples, Do not swear by Jerusalem because it is the city of a great king. So he tells us that he is a great king, not just an ordinary king, but a great king. I will use that moment to add that he is the king of the Jews, a racial king, the king of Israel, a national king, the king of Zion, a city king, the king of the heavens, a highest king, the king of glory, the most splendid king, the king of the ages, an all-time king, the king of Jacob, a personal king. The king of the saints, a holy king. Pilate said in, in John 19, behold your king. So he is your king. He is my king, a personal king. He is also the king of righteousness, the right standing king. He is a king, a great king. When you approach a king, you need to know the order of doing things. Because every king has a kingdom and every kingdom has the mode of operation, the protocol, the uh, rules of engagement, the modus operandi, the rules of engagement. So even our King Jesus has an order. He wants to be approached with thanksgiving. And Psalms 100 verse 4 becomes key. Enter his gates with thanksgiving. Enter his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him and bless his name. That text takes us to a royal setup. So one, thanksgiving is a kingdom protocol, meaning we are not expected to approach him and bombard him with requests without first giving him thanks. When we grow in thanksgiving, gates are open unto us 
access is given into his court where there is a designated or throne for the king. Now, as we approach that throne, then praises must be released. Therefore, we ought to express who he is. He wants to hear it. He wants to hear us say it no matter what. And, and that's what this platform is created for. For you and I to love him together from wherever we may be and lift up his name. But the last thing that I want to share with you, not only is Thanksgiving a kingdom protocol, it's also God's meal. God feeds on Thanksgiving. I want to remind you of the text in the book of Psalms 50, verse 12, 13, and 14. The Bible says, If I were hungry, I will not tell you. For the whole world is mine, and the fullness thereof. That is a very strong statement from somebody who knows who he is. He's simply saying, you know what? You're not doing me a favor by giving me thanks. The whole world is mine. And why is he talking about hunger? Because he wants to share with us the food that he eats. Verse 13 says, Will I eat the flesh of bulls or drink the blood of goats? It's a question mark. So he's simply saying, I don't eat the bulls of the flesh of bulls. I don't drink the blood of wine. All that happened in the past was he was feeding on an act of honor. He was feeding on obedience. And now in our beautiful covenant, he reveals this even before the new covenant began. He says, offer unto God. This is verse 14 of Psalm 50. Offer unto God thanksgiving. Pay thy vow unto the most time. So he's simply saying, offer unto God. The word offer there is the Hebrew word zevach. Zevach means to slaughter for sacrifice. It also means to kill. It means to sacrifice. So as we offer unto God thanksgiving, we are actually presenting his meal and say, why do you say his meal? Because he said in verse 12, even if I were hungry, I wouldn't tell you. He said in verse 13, I don't eat the flesh of bulls. I don't drink the blood of, of goats. He said in verse 14, offer, give me my food. And that is my thanksgiving. Friend, it is a blessing. It is such an awesome, beautiful privilege to serve God his meal. It's an honorable work to have access into the presence of the king and deliver his food. And that's what we're doing tonight. That's what we're doing whatever time of the day you may be watching this moment. You are offering unto God a beautiful meal. It's a man of God, tell me, how best can I prepare a meal? Few things. For the meal we are born to prepare, Thanksgiving, we are reminded of two things I want to close with. Number one, when you prepare God's meal, job. The last thing is Psalms 100 verse 4 in the message translation. The King James Version says, Blessed, um, enter his gates with thanksgiving, enter his courts with praise, be thankful unto him, and bless his name. But I love it in the message. It says, enter with the password. In quotes, thank you. Make yourself at home. You don't hurry when you make yourself at home. You don't hurry. You can't do a good meal in hurry. You can't just put salt anyhow. You can't just season things for one minute and expect it to be well done 
and with the uh, expected taste as you munch it and gourmandize it with your teeth. No, it good food takes time. So make yourself at home. The text continues to say, talking praise, thank him, worship him. So that's how we prepare the food of God we call Thanksgiving. And I pray that that word has been an encouragement to you. And we're going to do the practicals now. We're just going to count his blessings and just thank him. Some of the things you may not say, it, I may not say it because I'm the worship leader here. They may be very personal, but you can say it because you have the privacy, the advantage of privacy right there. Thank you, Lord, for love. Thank you, Lord, for your grace. Thank you, Lord, for your faithfulness. Thank you, Father, for salvation of our souls. Thank you, Lord, for the eyes to see. Thank you, Lord, for the ears to hear. Thank you, Lord, for the nose to smell. Thank you, Father, for the tongue to taste. Thank you for the teeth in my mouth. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for the blessing to feel myself. Thank you for the hands to play. Thank you for the data, Lord. Thank you for Mr. Christopher Nyari, wherever he's joining me from in Addis Ababa. Thank you for my Facebook friends lifting up your name, wherever they are, whatever time of the day they are. Thank you for salvation. Thank you for the blood that you shed on the cross for my sin, that I may be called your son. Thank you for holding on to that cross. You had all power to prove your divinity in that very cross, but you hang on there. That we might have life, oh yes, and have it more abundantly, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, all, King of glory. It is a blessing to lift up your name. Thank you for making me your man of God. Thank you for the blessing to worship you. Thank you for the awakeness today. Thank you for the resources to gather as worshippers. Psalms 119 verse 62. At midnight I will rise to give you thanks, Lord Jesus. We salute you, King of glory, yeah. We extol your name today. Thank you, Father, for your protection every day. If it had not been for you, Lord, where would we be today? You all know. You know all. You are all present. You are all powerful. You protect us every day. Thank you for my family. Thank you for the six children that you gave me. Thank you for the two grandchildren that you gave me. Thank you, Lord, for your loving kindness, which is better than life. We thank you for a place to sleep. Thank you for the grace of mobility. We thank you for the fellowship with the, the Spirit today. We will never stop to tell you who you are. Genesis 1 verse 1. You are the creator of the heavens and the earth. 50 billion trillion stars in our observable universe. You know each by name. You know each by name. Genesis 1 verse 3. You are the light of the world. You are that very light that brightens every man that enters into the world. What a wonder you were. Genesis 1 verse 28, you are our blessing. You blessed us and said, be fruitful, multiply the air, subdue it and have dominion over the fish of the water, over the bird of the air, and everything that moves upon the air. Thank you, Lord, for being our blessing. For whatever you say comes to pass. Nothing takes you by surprise. What a wonder, what a lover you are, Lord. We sublimate you today. 
Exodus 15 verse 11. Who is like unto thee, O Rehavé, among the gods? Who is like unto thee? You glorious in holiness. You fearful in praises. And you do wonders. You always do wonders. What a wonder you are. Yes, you are. Isaiah 53 verse 5. You were wounded for our transgressions. You were bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon you. With your stripes, we are healed. Thank you for healing today. Thank you for healing families today. Thank you for healing nations today. Thank you for healing Africa today. Thank you for healing USA, Europe, Asia, Australia. Thank you for healing the world. We have no other healer but you. That's why we call you Jehovah Rapha, Rapha, Rapika. You're the Lord who heals. You're the Lord who makes whole. You're the Lord who restores. Judges chapter 6, you Jehovah Shalom, our peace, our health, our welfare, our completeness, our prosperity. Jehovah, our liberty, our safety. Jehovah Yesha, yes you are. No one can be likened unto you. No one can be compared to you. Isaiah 9 verse 6, you are the child born. You are the son given. You are the carrier of the government. Your name is wonderful, Pelech. Your name is your earth's counselor. Your name is El Gibor, mighty God. Your name is Aviad, possessor of eternity. Your name is Shar Shalom, the prince of peace. What has no beginning you possess? This very thing called eternity, which has no end. You possess it. What a wonder you are, oh Lord. We thank you for your protection. In Isaiah 54, 17, your word declare, No weapon formed against you shall prosper. And every time that rise against you in judgment, you condemn. This is your heritage as your, my worshippers. I vindicate your case. Thank you, Daddy, for your loving kindness, your protection in our lives. Isaiah 40 verse 12 You are so big and great that you measure the oceans the Indian Ocean, the Pacific Ocean Atlantic Ocean and all the oceans in the hollow of your head What a great God you are oh Lord Incomparable yeah Lord Indescribable oh, oh. You measure the heavens by the spread of your feelings Put the earth in a basket. Put the mountains on a scale. Put the hills on a balance. What a great God you are, yeah. Kulukumbi la Jehovah. Anga kona la fana kana wera. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There is none, there is none, there is none like you. You dig down the gorges. You pile up the hills. You pop up the mountains. All creation bows at your gentle command.
Jesus. Isaiah 66 verse 1, heaven is your throne and the earth is your footstool. Isaiah 40 verse 18, who can be likened unto you? Who can be compared to you? Isaiah 40 22, you see it upon the cycle of the earth and the inhabitants of the world are like grasshoppers to you. You are the wonder, O oh Jesus, O oh Lord. Yeah. What a wonder. Ooh, 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 ooh. Isaiah 66, verse 1. Heaven is your throne. The earth is your footstool. There's no house big enough for you. There's no house of your habitation. You are big, O oh Jesus. Bigger than the biggest. Yeah, higher than the highest, yeah, deeper than the deepest, Lord, wider than the widest, oh yeah, stronger than the strongest, tougher than the toughest, wider than the widest, Lord, you are a wonder, oh, 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 oh Lord, you're a lover. What a wonder you are. Isaiah 7 verse 14. You are Emmanuel. God in man. Man in God. God with man. Man with God. You're perfectionally paradoxical. Revelation 22 verse 16. You're the root and the offspring of David. You're the bride and the morning star, King of glory. Oh, only you, only you, Lord, could give birth to David and allow yourself to be born through David. What a wonder you are. Revelation 22, verse 13. You are Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. You're the first and the last. They are left and the top. You're the I and the Zah. They are K and the Telos, the originator of creation. We love you, Lord. We salute you, your Revave. Revelation 19, verse 13. You're the one wearing the robe dipped in blood. Your name is Dabaha Elohim. Your name is the Word of God. Revelation 13, verse 8. You're the Lamb of God slain. Apocatabole cosmos. Oh, yes. The blood for my victory. You are the word for my testimony. Revelation 12, verse 11. You are that very blood that gives me victory. You are that very word that gives me testimony. The blood that was shed before the foundation of the world. Before you spin the 50 billion trillion stars in our observable universe known to man. You release the blood. So no matter what we may face inside time. The blood will give us redemption and salvation. Thank you, Lord, for your own wisdom. You are wise, oh, 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 yeah. Revelation 5, verse 5. You're the land of the tribe of Judah. You're all in our praise. Yes, you do, Lord. You are in our praise. Rocky of glory. Yeah. You are in our praise. Yes, you do, Lord. Revelation 3, verse 14. You are the Amen, the true and the faithful witness. The originator of creation. What a lover you are. Oh, oh. 
What a Savior you are. Revelation 1 verse 8. You are Alpha and Omega. The beginning and the end. The Lord God. yod heh Elohim. The I am that I am. The very air that we breathe. The Ichiyach Haser Ichiyach. The ego I me. The self-existent one. For you exist without us, but we cannot exist without you. We lean on you. We love you. We live because of you. Yeah. 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 Ooh, yeah. You are self-sufficient. You have everything within yourself to be God. You need no any other law. Every other person needs you. I need you, Lord. I love you. I cannot live without you, Lord. We acknowledge our dependence on you. We acknowledge our dependence on you. For you, the very air that we breathe. When you take your air, we drop down and and perish and disappear. We cannot live without you. We cannot live without you. We cannot live without you. Hey, O oh King of Glory. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah. Oh, ne anose le de menyanoza. La zala ya ko ele mene. Ono zolo yo ko shine. You are eternal, Lord. Because you have no beginning of days. You have no end of days. You have no genealogy. You have nobody to lean on, but all creation leans on you. What a wonder you are. What a lover you are. What a savior you are. We salute you, King of glory. What a lover. What a savior. What a king. You're the king of the Jews. You're a racial king. You're the king of Israel. You're a national king. You're the king of Zion. Yeah. You're a city king. You're the king of the saints. You're a holy king. You're the king of the ages. You're an all time king. You're the king of glory. You're a holy king. The most splendid king. The most beautiful king. You're a great king. Yes, you are. Yes, you are, Lord. We salute you, king of glory. You're the king of the saints. You're the king of righteousness. You're the king of the heavens. You're the king of the earth. You are a great king. What an honor to love you, Lord. What a privilege to release your food today. To prepare your meal. We lift up your name. We sublimate you, King of Glory. There's nobody, 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 nobody compares to you. Compares to you, yeah. Nobody, 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 nobody compares to you, yeah. Compares to you, 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 oh Lord. You are Elohim, Theos, the supreme divinity. You're the magistrate of all cases. 
when you say yes, nobody can say no. When you say no, nobody can say yes. You are the despotous monarch, the absolute ruler of creation. Revelation 4, 11. Thou art worthy, O Lord, to receive glory, honor, and power. For you have created all things for your pleasure. They are and were created. No one compares to you. No one compares to you. Creation of day. Oh, yeah. My little of the valley. Yeah. My bright and morning star. My sweet rose of Sharon. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Family, if you have anything to say of him, just type it right there. I'm going to sing it to the Lord. Just participate if you can. If you know him to be God and you know the verse, just keep it short so that I don't have to touch the comment session to read everything. But leave the Lord's name together with me if you don't mind. As the Lord enables you. We salute you. Creation of day, Ooh, oh, oh. First Timothy one seventeen. You are king, eternal. You are immortal. You are invincible. You are the only wise God. The only wise God. First Timothy six verse fifteen and sixteen. You are the blessed and the only ruler. You are king of kings. You are lord of lords. You alone has immortality. Dwelling in the land that no man can approach unto. No one has ever seen you in your fullness, Lord. You are so big, so great. Our minds cannot comprehend the fullness of your greatness. The magnanimity of your love. Your love, your love is beautiful. First Peter 2 verse 25. You're the shepherd and the bishop of our souls. First Peter 5 verse 10. You're the God of all grace. 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 All Khan Khanan Raton in Charis, the God of all acceptance, the God of subjective beauty, subjective kindness, the God of objective beauty. We lift up your name. Ephesians 3:20, you are able to do exceedingly, you are able to do abundantly. You are able to do above all that we can think or ask by your power that worketh deep within us. You are indescribable. You are inconceivable in your earths. None of us can fathom the magnanimity of your grace and love. What a lover. What a savior you were. We magnify your name. King of glory, yeah. First Peter 2, verse 25. Five, you're the shepherd and the bishop of our souls. Yes, you are. First Corinthians 45, verse 15, verse 45 and 47. You are the second Adam. You're the life-giving spirit. What a lover you are. Luke 1 verse 37, nothing is impossible with you. Nothing, 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 yeah. Nothing is impossible. You can do anything. You can do it anytime. You can do it anywhere, yeah. Oh, yes, shendo, yes. You can do anything. Can do it at time. Can do it anyway. Oh, oh, oh. You can.
can do anything, Lord. We salute you, King of glory. We sublimate your name, oh. We lionize you. We beautify you. We admire you. We respect you. We extol you, yeah. We hold you in highest regard. We love you, Lord. Crazy love with you, Lord, yeah. Crazy, 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 yeah. Crazy in love with you, Jesus. Crazy in love with you. Joshua 5, verse 13 through 14. You Jehovah Tseba war. The Lord of hosts. Thank you, OJ Mushawi. The Lord of war. The Lord of worship. Yeah, yeah. Yes, you were, Lord. You never have a war. Yeah. The Lord of war. The mighty man of war, God of war, Lord of hosts, Lord of hosts, Lord of war, Lord of worship, mighty man of war. You have never lost the battle, you're always a winner. You know all things, Lord. You have all power. We salute you. Keep bringing them on. Keep bringing them on if you can. Whatever the Lord lays in your heart, let's share, let's share, let's share. Let's praise Him together. We love you, Jesus. Genesis with John 1 verse 1, you are the Word. For in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with you. And you are the Word. John 1 verse 2, all things were made by you. You are the word. You are the word with God in the beginning. Verse 3. All things were made by you. Verse 4. You are the lives of man. That brightens every man that enters into this world. We lift your name on oh, oh, oh. We supplement you Jesus. Oh yeah. Oh oh oh. oh. Then John 1 verse 10 All things were made by you John 1 verse 14 You are the word made flesh That dwell among us Christ We beheld your glory That glory as if it was Of the begotten Son Full of grace and truth John 1 17 you are the carrier of grace and truth. John 1 29. You are the Lamb of God that taketh away the sin of the world. The sin of the world. Oh, 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 oh Lord. John 1 38. You Raboni, the master teacher, did ask Alos, the doctor of the law. What a lover you are. What a wonder you are. John 149, you are the king of Israel. Beneha Elohim, the sun God. Rabboni, the master teacher. John 151, you are the son of man. You're all in a praise. Son of man. John 2 25. You are Yehoshua. Jesus, Jehovah our salvation. Jehovah our Yesha. Our liberty. Our deliverance. Our salvation. Our prosperity. Our safety. 
There's no one above you alone. Yeah. Oh. oh, oh, oh. John 2 24, you are here. Oh, sure. Jesus. You know all men. 7.8 billion people today. You know each by name, yeah. What a wonder you are. Psalms 147, verse 5. Where is our Lord God? Mighty in power. Your understanding has no limit. Yes. <laughs> Your understanding has no limit. Oh Lord, we love you. Your understanding has no limit. Oh, 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 oh yeah. Um, shall we right there on verse 4. Just paste verse 4 right there. Hallelujah, ooh, yeah, no. that verse 4 of Psalms 147, verse 4. Great is our Lord and mighty in power. Your understanding has no limit, yes. <laughs> Your understanding has no limit, no, yeah. Your understanding. Is no limit. Your understanding is no limit. Oh yeah. Oh. Your understanding, Lord, has no limit. Yeah. Ah yeah yeah yeah. Kalosa bahadara namas. Your understanding, Lord, has no limit. Ooh, Lord. John 3, 16, you are the begotten of the Father, the monogenous, the only one of your kind. We salute you, King of glory. We magnify your name. Psalm 50, verse 12, you said, if I were hungry, I wouldn't tell you, for the world is mine and the fullness thereof. Will I eat the flesh of bulls and drink the blood of, of goats? No, offer unto me thanksgiving. Pay thy vow, pay thy vow. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Lord, for the blessing of salvation. Oh, 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 oh. John 4, 23, you are the Ab, the Abba, Abba, Abba on the smart Talve, our Father in heaven, our nourisher, our upholder, our protector. A guide, a source, a sustainer. No, 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 nobody compares to you. Yeah, 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 yeah. John 4 42, you are the Christ, the Savior of the world. Thank you, Daddy. Hallelujah, oh. Psalms 147, verse 4. You determine and count the numbers of the stars. You call them by their names. Oh, yes, you do, Lord. We say you determine and count the numbers of the stars. stars. You call them by their names. You know each by name, oh Lord. You do, 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 you do
are yes you do <laughs> what a wise god you are oh yes you are oh oh, oh, oh what a wise god you are what a wise what a wise god you are Psalms 147 verse 4 You did a man And count the numbers of the stars Fifty billion trillion And you know them by their names What a great wise I got you Joy 832, you are the truth that sets all men free. Yes, Lord. Thank you, OJ Mushabi, for those verses. If you have some, just bring them all. Let's lift up the name of the Father. Oh, 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 oh yeah, Lord. Oh, oh, oh. Mm. John 10, 10, you are there. I am come that we might have life. And have it more abundantly. Your word declare the thief cometh. Not but to steal and kill and destroy. But I am come that you might have life. And have it more abundantly. Thank you for life in abundance. Thank you for abundant life. Thank you daddy. John 10, 11, you are a good shepherd. John 14, 6, you are the way, you are the truth, you are the life. John 18, 6, that you, when you said, I am he, they moved back and fell down. Because they couldn't stand the line of the time of Judah. Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're the line of the time of Judah. When you're all your enemies scattered. Your all your enemies scatter. You are the man who can tell me all that I ever did, Lord. Ooh, yeah. What a lover you were, oh, Lord. You still love me. You still care. You still love me. You still care. Maria no zene yane ya kwele bedeze Moza yene mani ya nushala ya doko boyo Ikele ne mene ya Mana ya no sodo jale kele ne mo What a wana, what a love you are Ooh Lord Isaiah 20 verse 28, John 20 28 Ho kuriosmo, ho theosmo. You are my Lord and my God. Isaiah 21. You're the restorer of the backslider. You will never leave me alone, boy. You always care for me, Lord. I magnify your name. We magnify your name, oh Lord. 
Yes, we do. Yes, we do, Lord. You are Adam's Redeemer. You are Abel's Vindicator. You are Eden's Tree of Life. You are Samson's power. You are Abraham's sacrifice. You are Isaac's substitute. You are Moses' bush on fire. Yes, you are. You are Ezekiel's wind in the middle of the wind. Oh, Lord. You are Jeremiah's bomb in Gilead. Yeah. You are David's music. You are Solomon's wisdom. You are Esther's favor. You are Esther's dignity, Lord. You are Hosea's love. Oh, yes, you are. And still be my, my God. You are Jeremiah's bomb in Gilead. You are Joshua's battle axe. You are Malachi's high priest. Oh, Lord. You are Matthew's king. Yes, Lord. You are Mark seven lawyer. You are Luke's greatest physician. You are John's when made flesh. You are the ace coming of the Holy Ghost. When forever and ever is over. Oh, yeah, Lord. You remain the amen, oh yeah. You are enduringly strong. You are entirely sincere, Lord. You are eternally steadfast. You are immortally graceful, Lord. You are imperially powerful. You are impartially merciful. Magnanimously incredible. Flamboyantly exuberant. No means of measure. Can define your limitless love. No far seeing telescope can bring into visibility the coastline of your shoreless supply. Yeah. There's no burial, Lord, that can hinder you from pouring out a blessing. You're the loftiest idea in literature, you're the fundamental doctrine of true theology. You're the highest personality in philosophy. You're the supreme problem in higher criticism. You're the superlative of everything good. And still be my God, yeah. You heal the sick. You raise the dead. You cleanse the lepers. You regard the aged. You blesses the young. You reward the diligent and still be my God. Oh, yeah. You're the key of knowledge, yes, Lord. The wellspring of wisdom, oh, God. The doorway of deliverance, the pathway of peace, the roadway of righteousness, the highway of holiness. The gateway of glory. Ooh, yeah, Lord. My joy, my love, you are. Galatians 5 22 through 23. What a wonder you are. You are my love, my joy, 
my peace, my kindness, my goodness, my gentleness, my faithfulness, my perseverance, my self-control, yeah. What a lover you. There's no one like you, Jesus. No one compares you. We sublimate your name. Kalosa Bahaza Digadia. We thank you, Father God. In the remaining five minutes, I want us to declare the scriptures and sow the seed of the word. <clears throat> Luke 8 11, the Bible says, The word of God is seed, or the seed is the word of God. Can never undermine the potency, the potential in a seed. It was a man of God, Robert Schuller, who said, You can count the seeds in an apple. But you can never count the apples inside a seed. The potential in the seed of God's word, it's magnanimously incredible. And I want for you and I, if you can, in the last four minutes, just to declare the word of God. Genesis 1.28, we decree and declare that, he, that we are blessed. No curse can stack. You can just follow me if you can. We are blessed. We are fruitful. We are multiplying the earth. We subdue it. We have dominion over the fish of the waters, over the bird of the air, and everything that moves upon the earth. In Jesus' name. Genesis 12, verse 2 and 3. We decree and declare. And even verse 1, that we are delivered from limitations of our families, the curses and the limitations of our households, the curses and the limitations of our nations. We are a great nation. We are blessed. Our names are great. We are a blessing. Those who bless us are blessed. Those who curse us are cursed out of us nations of the world are being blessed in the name of Jesus we declare and declare Genesis 13 verse 2 just like father Abraham our father of faith we are also blessed in silver and gold and we have many assets in the name of Jesus Isaiah 8 verse 18 decree and declare I and the children, born and unborn, that Jehovah you have given unto us, we decree and declare that we are for signs and wonders. In the name of Jesus, Isaiah 53 verse 5, we decree and declare that we are healed by the stripes of Jesus. We are healed by his stripes. We will be kept even through the third wave and in any other ways that the enemy may bring, we are kept. Psalms 118 verse 17. We decree and declare, we shall not die, but we shall live to declare the works of the Lord in the name of Jesus. Joshua 24 verse 15. Even in these trying moments, we decree and declare, as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. As for me and my house, we will worship the Lord. Ecclesiastes 2.26, we decree and declare that we fear the Lord. We have wisdom. We have knowledge. We have happiness and wealth. In the name of Jesus. Psalms 23, we decree and declare that Jehovah, you are our shepherd. We shall not chaser, we shall not be lessened, we shall not diminish, we shall not want, we shall not lack, we shall not fail. You make us lie down in green pastures, you're the restorer of our souls. You prepare table before us in the presence of our enemies. 
You anoint our heads with oil in our cup. Revire overflows. Takes us to a wealthy place. In the name of Jesus. Yes, though we walk through the valley of the shadow of death, we fear no evil. Because you are with us. Your rod and your staff, they comfort us. In Jesus' name. Psalms 27 verse 1, we decree and declare. And you never have or you are our light and our salvation. We cannot fear. You are the strength of our lives. We are not afraid. In the name of Jesus. Malachi 2.15, we decree and declare that we're giving birth to godly children. That you, Dorsha, that you, Zatewa, that you seek. In the name of Jesus. Philippians 4.19, we decree and declare that daily you will continue to supply all our need according to your riches and glory in Christ Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name. Philippians 4.13, we decree and declare that we have possibility thinking we can do all things through Christ our strengthener. In the name of Jesus, we thank you, Lord, for a new season. We thank you, Lord, for grace. We thank you, Lord, for the moment in your presence. We thank you for a new beginning. We thank you for your love. We thank you, Lord, for your provision. We thank you for your protection. In the name of Jesus, we lift up your name. And may the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May the Lord's face shine upon you. May he give you peace. May he be gracious to you and your loved ones. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare that you will not bury your children. You will live long. The years is full of health, wealth, and strength. The best of life is locating you. You're growing in stature and in wisdom, in favor with God and with men. You're living to fulfill your prophetic destiny in Christ Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. OJ Mushabi, would you please let me know where you're joining from? Thank you so very much for being with us today. Uh, it's been a job being with you. It's been a wonderful journey. And I thank God for this precious moment. Kindly like it and also by God's grace. If you're watching me from my YouTube channel called Matimba Power, I ask you to do four things. Kindly subscribe, like the video, drop your comment and share it. It may be a turnaround for somebody. It's been a joy lifting up the name of the Lord. This is a midnight worship where we arise according to Psalms 119 verse 62. At midnight I shall rise to give you thanks because of your righteous judgment. I bless God that we could be together today. I'm signing out, saying shalom and God bless.